okay good evening and good morning uh, now we can start our evening session you all can join in with us to chant metta sutta may all beings be happy and secure may all beings have happy minds whatever the beings there may be without exception we call strong long large medium short subtle or both visible or invisible living near or far born or coming to birth may all beings have happy minds let no one deceive another nor despise anyone anywhere neither from anger nor ill will should anyone wish harm to another as a mother would risk her own life to protect her only child even so towards all living beings one should cultivate a boundless heart one should cultivate for all the world a heart of boundless loving kindness above below and all around unobstructed without hatred or resentment whether standing walking or sitting lying down or lying awake one should develop this mindfulness this is called divine development here not falling into erroneous views but virtuous and endowed with vision removing desire for sensual pleasures once come never again to birth in the womb sadhu 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 okay keep your body upright your head straight forward keep your palms together right upon left take a deep and long breath and let it go slowly be relaxed again take a deep and long breath and let it go slowly be relaxed your mind is relaxing when you are relaxing mentally and physically happiness calm serenity all these are increasing in your mind enjoy your relaxation happiness is arising also peace and calmness your mind is not going here and there determine to keep with your objectives develop your courage develop your strength develop your mindfulness you feel whole body is relaxing mindfulness is increasing you can see your body through your mind
moving your mind head to toes generate loving friendliness thoughts towards yourself may i be well happy and peaceful may i be well happy and peaceful happiness is arising peace is arising anger unhappiness all other unwholesome thoughts are declined may i be well happy and peaceful Let us share this metta thoughts with others. As I am, my family members, friends, relatives, and neighbors, be well, happy, and peaceful. we can extend our metta thoughts all living beings in this country may they be well happy and peaceful
this continent. May they be well, happy and peaceful. on earth may they be well happy and peaceful All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. Finally breaking all the boundaries and limitation. Pay attention to the universe. All living beings in the universe, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful.
all living beings on earth may they be well happy and peaceful All living beings on this continent may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy and peaceful. My family members, friends, relatives and neighbors be well, happy and peaceful. May I be well, happy and peaceful. Being in this uplifted mind, let us focus on your breath to practice mindfulness of breathing meditation. Mindfully breathe in, mindfully breathe out, peacefully breathe in, peacefully breathe out. Happy the breathing, happy the breathe out. Pay full attention to your inhalation and exhalation. You feel when you are breathing in. Breathing out, you feel where air is touching. End up your nostril, upper lips, your belly, or your lungs. Select it a place, keep your mind there, and watch your breath, inhalation and exhalation. Mindfully breathe in, 
mindfully breathe out. Be aware whether it is a short breath or long breath. We inhale a short breath. We inhale a long breath. We exhale a short breath. We exhale a long breath. Be aware whether it is a short breath or long breath. Pay full attention to your inhalation and exhalation. Mindfully breathe in, mindfully breathe out. Your concentration is increasing. Same with your concentration, happiness, calmness, peacefulness is increasing. No pain, no sorrow. You are free of all other unhappy thoughts. Pain, pull attention to your inhalation and exhalation. You can see where starting point of your breath, changes of your breath and departing of your breath. You feel all the breath process. Breath is the most important for your life. This life is depending on the breath, inhalation and exhalation. But the breath is not me. Breath is not mine. Breath is not myself. Breath is impermanence. Everlasting changing. Changing, changing. There is no such a thing to take as permanent or oh, belongs to you, belongs to me. Mindfully breathe in, mindfully breathe out. Take your time and practice mindfulness of breathing meditation. Whenever you notice the mind has lost its meditation object, come back and start again. Happily, peacefully, mindfully breathe in, breathe out.
दुख पता दुख भया पता भया शोक पता शोक तंतु सबे पीपानी May the suffering be free from suffering. May the fear struck be free from fear. May the grieving be free from grief. So too may all beings be. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you. Now we can start our Q and A session. Can we start our questions? Right. Uh, the first question is: How should a Buddhist respond to an authoritarian government that is committing genocide, repressing rights of religious minorities? And constantly committing acts of wrong speech. I am referring to a hypothetical case here, not a real one. Should they respond at all? Okay. <clears throat> Authoritarian government. The Buddha delivered a sermon explaining. how should behave the leaders in the world leaders should be purify their word they have to have pure words clean unharmful words and also their behavior should be clean and unharmful pull with metta and compassion thus a raj dharma there are ten facts that delivered by the buddha to apply as a ruler and also thus a sakviti vat another ten facts that apply as a monarch king somehow all these teachings explaining the political views of the buddha buddha is the person who introduced real democratic system into the world that democratic system we call word sangika that's the pali word sangika this is the democratic method so if they are not ready to follow these methods facts then they have to pay for it every action has a reactions according to buddhism every volitional action has a reaction therefore who became leaders if they are not following rules if they are not if they are not following uh, uh, if they are not able to fulfill their responsibilities duties to protect people to protect country they are accumulating unwholesomeness akusala you might see them in this world in the present moment they are living happily you think they are enjoying in their life no because they have bad behavior unwholesome activities are behind in their mind they don't have any wholesome thoughts so they have to pay for it they are suffering a lot no one can see it so 
if they are doing so as a citizen of that country first we can show our uh, unhappiness for them and if if we have any opportunities to correct them we can we have to do that if you are not powerful to do so then we have to be quiet we are not supposed to go against them because that is not the teachings of the buddha the buddha's advice was to the monk rajanam anuvattitu let them to rule their country according to their wishes when if they are accidentally or anyway if they are coming to you asking some guidance that is the time you should open your mouth to give some guidance to them but as a citizen of the country you have a opportunity to ward them use that opportunity you can show your unhappiness uh, your unhappiness through your words if there is any opportunity to talk to any of agent who can pass this message gently and peacefully talk to them express your stress express your anxiety then they will pass it otherwise violation all these unhappy uh, which is against go to the peace these are not appropriate by the buddha or buddha's teaching we should show our thoughts our uh, unhappy and un uh, unhappiness stress anxiety to them peacefully and happily this is the way how we can give a teach uh, how we can teach for them uh, because if we try to do something against them fighting with them arguing with them debating with them they may not ready to listen to us that is their nature because they are full with ignorance so as a citizen of country we should be careful when you are warding this is the best way according to democracy that we can answer this kind of authoritarian government who are not respect to the natural natural law universal law i think that that would be the answer for this question we can go go to next question what is the next question okay the next question bante in my experience there are two kinds of parents those who are overly optimistic and protective of their children's naivety and then those who are overly pessimistic and harmful to their children's outlook how should a buddhist raise young people in now we are discussing in singhalovada sutta singhalovada sutta is the main discourse that we can use to get some guidance as a parents this is the way how we uh, take care our children first you should be a mother or father mentally you should have that motherhood fatherhood with you biologically we can be mother and father but that is not enough you should have that motherhood and fatherhood with you 
as Buddha mentioned in few discourses and few stanzas, Brahmati Mata Pitaro. Brahmati Mata Pitaro. Your mother and father is Mahabrahman. Mahabrahman mean, means, according to the Hindu tradition, he is the superb power, God, the God. He is the creator of this world. The Buddha said, creator of this world, creator of you, is not someone else, your parents, your mother and father. So, Buddha used that word and using that word, Buddha said, Brahmati Mata Pitaro, your mother and father should become, I mean, your mother and father you can take as a Mahabrahma, the creative God. Then there is another uh, side, as a creative God, what kind of qualities you should have? You should be a loving, penniless person, you should be a kindness person, you should be a sympathetic joy person, you should be equanimity. These qualities should develop as a mother, as a father. This is the way how we can develop motherhood. Parenting is disease. If someone have these qualities, then that person can become a real mother, real father. If they don't have these qualities, they are not real mother and father. They just became mother and father, biological, just depending on their bi biological facts. That is not motherhood, that is not fatherhood. So, in Singhalavada Sutta, Buddha, the Buddha advised uh, Buddha explained how is the parenting. First one, Papa Nivarenti, as mother and father, as parents, what they should do for their children. First thing, Papa Nivarenti, help them to realize evil things and protect them from evil things. This is the first thing. In Sigalovada Sutta, the Buddha said, Papa Nivarenti, protect from evil thing your children. That's the first thing that we should do. Then you should introduce them what is evil. If they don't know what is evil, then how they can protect it? Though so first as a first thing, Papa Nivarenti. Second thing, Kalyane Niva Penti. In Singhalovada Sutta, it's mentioned Kalyane Niva Penti. And you have to put them, establish them with, uh, with wholesomeness, wholesome activities. Kusala Kamma. That is one of duty of our parents. This is parenting. And third one, Sikkhan Sikka Penti. As you know, we should learn so many things. We should gather so many information to develop our skills. What are the skills that we should develop? Not just reading books, not, 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 not just writing letters. We should develop our knowledge, experiences towards wholesome way. This is the most important way. Sikkan Sikha Penti. We should develop our skills. What kind of skills? Loving friendliness, compassionate, sympathetic joy, equanimity. As a parents, they have this, those qualities to their children and also as a children, they should develop these qualities as a human beings. These are basic things for human beings. These are skills. Not just learning from books, not just enough learning from books and develop uh, gathering information from different resources. 
they should have these qualities, they should develop their, their, these qualities. Sikkhan Sikha Penti means, the, the, this is the means of that Sikkhan Sikha Penti, giving uh, opportunity to them to develop their skills. The third one. And uh, uh, fourth one, when the time comes, give them uh, authority give them authority or uh, uh, hand over your wealth for them to take care in this West western world i think you can't see these things much but in traditional buddhist countries still they follow this tradition but anyway this is the buddha's advice in singhalavada sutta when you are living as a mother and father, you, uh, you, you have to earn some wealth. And then when the time comes, you should hand in to your children. For what? There are two benefits. One is you are training them to take care of the, those. And also you are releasing from responsibilities. For what? release in those responsibilities you have you can you you can use that opportunity to develop yourself your insight practice the the the, the fourth one the last one it's never happening anywhere in this world now but it used to be when the time come help them to find a partner for their life to marry someone you might be your daughter or son to help them to find someone to marry this is the way that we should parent in this is the way how we help our children so without going into extreme entries extreme entries mean kind of uh, 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 not accept things by the Buddha or Buddha's teachings. So, following Buddha's teaching, you can be a wonderful father or mother without becoming optimistic or pessimistic. pessimistic. The Buddha's teaching is not optimistic or pessimistic, it is realistic. So, you become a realistic mother or father. Understand in nature, uh, realize in the truth, help your children to develop their insight, develop their behavior, uh, uh, realize in evil, and establish them they can establish their wholesomeness this is the way how we have to do uh, what is next question hmm. and also we are going to talk uh, we can discuss more because we are in singalova the sutta these days and we can discuss more things in when the time come to discuss those things in singalova the sutta Bhante, is there one path to awakening outlined in the suttas, or are there many? Okay. no ayam maggo sattanam visuddhya. This is the Buddha's word. no ayam maggo. There is no second. There is only one path that we have. That is noble eightfold path. Noble eightfold path is the path that we can apply to attain enlightenment. Attaining enlightenment is this one thing. The path is noble eightfold path. But and also Buddha spent forty five years as a Buddha as the Buddha to explain the path, noble eightfold path. It's now you can understand how difficult is that path to understand it. It's not easy way to understand. It's very 
complicated shuttle so uh, it's depending on our experiences and knowledge that's why Buddha spent 45 years to teach Noble Eightfold Path and Four Noble Truth. Depending on your knowledge and experience, you can find a path. Which path you are going? It means direct you can apply Noble Eightfold Path. Also indirect you can apply Noble Eightfold Path. I can give a... But there is no different path, only one path, but how much uh, strength you have, how is your courage, according to this strength and your courage, then you can do, you can apply this path like, like this. Take example, someone want to go to New York. Now we are in here, West Virginia. From West Virginia to New York City, you can use to directly to direct to, to go to directly to the city, New York City. You can you can go by plane. If you are going to go with in plane, then it will take half an hour or 20 minutes so 45 minutes might be maximum and someone can uh, take a train train might be take five hours six hours someone can drive their own car that person can drive that person can take uh, six or seven hours from West Virginia, we, uh, we can just take as a city of Winchester to New York City. And then <clears throat> someone can use a bicycle to ride a bicycle from here to there, like Brian. Brian can ride, I can't. <laughs> then he might take two, three days, mm -hmm. might be so, a week from here to there and someone can start to walk from here to there that person might spend a month or few months somehow a few months that that person might spend to go New York City in this manner you can apply this noble eight pole path according to your courage according to your strength it's depending uh, the speed depending on your strength and your courage there are uh, uh, direct you can see very very clearly as a monk and a lay person but they use a simile for that to explain monks go past but they use a simile for that like a swan. Swan go past top of the uh, surface of the water. We go very fast. Because mm -hmm. that swan doesn't have any extra things. And lay people like a peacock. You might see in some peacocks. Peacock have huge feathers. Beautiful feathers. Therefore, Peacock always thinking to take care his feather. And because of that feather, feathers are very heavy, so he can't fly very quickly. He can't go quickly. He can't go quickly. His journey would be very slow because of his feathers. In the same way, Monks can go past like a swan. Lay people go like a peacock. This is one of explanation that you can see through uh, Buddha, Buddha's teachings and also in, uh, particularly in Dhammapada and some other literatures, Buddhist literatures. But 
we all are in same path but that uh, speed limit depending on our courage our strength it is person to be pe pe person buddha use another simile to explain this in a pond you can see some in 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 in, in the pond in, in the pond you can see lotus flowers when sun is arising some lotus flowers are ready to bloom right away some are not some are take two three days some are take a week or two three weeks some are never bloom in same way in this life according to our capacity according to the person's capacity we can see the speed the speed of that journey in this attaining enlightenment journey so we don't have different path we have only one path that is noble eight pole path but it's depending on the person strength courage and his uh, his situations that's why it's to different person uh, i think that would be enough for today uh, we can continue our uh, discussion dhamma sermons tomorrow uh, then we can wind down today program now it is time to share merits with departed relatives friends family members and pets may they rejoice these merits may they have wonderful peaceful birth having that aspiration share merits with departed ones saying sadhu 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 all over the world who are suffering from corona and any other sicknesses may they recover may they have peaceful happy situations having that aspiration make blessings upon them saying sadhu 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 deities who protect this world and sasana rejoice these merits rejoice in these merits may they have peaceful happy life may they attain ultimate bliss of nibbana having that aspiration say sadhu 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 may we all be able to attain ultimate bliss of nibbana all your wishes come true by the power of this merits all your your health your happiness increase by the power of this merits we may all able to attain ultimate nibbana having that aspiration say sadhu 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 by means of this meritorious deed may i never join with the foolish may i join always with the wise until the time i attain nibbana may the suffering be free from suffering may the fear shock be free from fear may the grieving be free from grief so too may all beings be from the highest realms of existence to the lowest may all beings arisen in these realms with form and without form with perception and without perception be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace excellent 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 thank you very much your for your participation life who are from west you have a uh, good night to you who are from east have a wonderful day thank you, thank you.